Hey, it's Joshua Hamlin with Wild Primitive Skills, uh, Primitive Living Skills. I'm out here at Sigma 3 this week, and today I'm going to show you how to build a spring stick deadfall. We need some things to build a spring stick deadfall. We need a springy stick. This is lower dead branch off of a cedar tree. It's got some good flex to it. Um, you can't use green wood when you're doing this uh, because it will take set. Your springy, springy stick will take set, then the trigger won't work. So you have to use dead wood. Cedar's a good choice. Um, hickory works well. Things that are snappy. So, we also are going to need a big rock, which I got down here. And we're going to need two trees that are close together like this. They can be farther apart than this. These ones are really close. But it'll work perfect for our needs. We need a stake, which I made here. We need string, which I got a bunch of, and then we need a trigger, and of course bait. So I'm going to make a trigger out of this. First thing we got to do though is hammer this stick into the ground. So I already started to do this. This is take two. straight up and down. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to cut off all these rough edges. Now I'm going to take a string here. Find the end of it. And I'm going to tie a little loop around the end of the stick. Like so. It's just a little square knot. We want it to be just a little bit loose, have a little bit of space there. Now I'm going to hammer it, wait, and cut this. Now I'm going to hammer it down more. Okay. This is what your bait would be attached to. Now we need this end to be sharp to one side. About like so. Now we can finish breaking this the rest of the way. I'm going to cut a little groove here to help hold the string.
think so. Okay. Now we got our spring stick here. We're going to tie. We're going to tie the string to the end of our spring stick. tie the same string to the end of our trigger. Cut that off. Okay. There's our trigger. Here it is. Make sure that ain't gonna come loose. Now that we got our, our trigger on here, we need to tie one more string to the same spot on the spring stick. We're gonna make this one a little bit longer. I hate nylon cordage, it just happens to be what I have right now. Okay, this string is going to attach to the, the, the stick that holds up the rock. This string is going to attach, this trigger is going to attach in the loop in this cordage. It's going to be round on round. This is round and this is round. So it's going to slip very easily. So I had to carve a new trigger stick. Um, the first one I used was green. I forgot to mention you can't use green trigger because it holds a lot of pressure and it'll just break, which is what happened when we tried to put the first one on there. So I just changed trigger sticks. And I'm putting a new notch in it. Right now, this is just to help the string not slip. Okay, I'm tie this. This is the old one that didn't work. This is the new one that hopefully will work. before I'm really bad at knots and I really hate nylon string which makes knot tying come untied very easily but we're gonna do what we can with what we got That will hold. Now remember that we have another string tied on to this side. They're both tied onto the spring stick. We're going to this. In the right direction first. Bring this over to the string here and tuck, tuck it in to the string there so that it's barely holding round against round like so remember our bait's going to be on here now the trigger is set however we need to set the rock up so get some of this stuff out of the way
need to choose a stick that's going to hold the rock up. Maybe this one. Tie the other end of the string. To this stick. To the bottom of this stick. So, say this is the part that's on the top, this is the part that's on the bottom. Notice it's kind of loose. That's on purpose. Also, instead of setting this on the ground, I'm going to try and set it on this stick, which will make it looser. Make it come off easier, I think. Like so. Now, of course, we'll want to we'll want to uh, fence our trap in. makes the animal question whether he can get out. It doesn't stop him from getting out, it just makes him question it. While he's busy questioning, can I go that way, he's also busy getting smashed and dying. It just makes him stop and think for a second. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Okay, I'm dead. I'm going to fence it in on this side too. We're going to want them to come in this way. So we're going to fence all this in. Again, this is just to make them stop and wonder. They can go this way. Like so, and there it is. That's the setup. Now, when an animal comes in, finds the bait on the stick, he's like, oh, yummy piece of bait. Boom! More likely he would be pulling it instead of pushing it, but it would be the same result. Spring stick deadfall. Um, it's actually a lot easier to set up than I made it look like. Um, I used a really big rock. You don't have to use them that big. Good thing about this trap though is that you can use it on big game. Bigger game than you can say the Paiute deadfall. So, spring stick deadfall. Thanks for watching.